Hello guys, nice to see you again. Um, today, we want to create this. Nice to have you back. This video will be all about creating a beautiful cycles shader setup for this nail polish product. And you can see all these interesting stripes and shapes in the fluid. This is what we will create today. And it's not that complicated as it might look right now. So this is what we will do in this video. In the next video, we will also do the light setup. And the lights are created with the advanced light maps. Check them out if you are in need for high quality lights for your product renderings. We will not do any modeling on this one because, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like 3D modeling so much. So if you are lazy and you want to have this right off the bat without doing anything, go over to Gumroad. I give this to you for free. You can have the model and also the shader. And yeah, so after you have beat the crap out of this like button, we can take off. Goodie. Cool, cool. So I hope you have made yourself comfortable. I have my um, breakfast here. Yeah. It's Monday in the morning, uh, 11 a.m. And I got a dentist appointment later this day, so I got to hurry up right now. So, okay. This should be what you see if you open up the file that you can download on Gumroad. We have in here the liquid layer and there is uh, already a material applied, but there's nothing, yeah, like nothing in it. And I would recommend you to concentrate on the shader only. So I hit Ctrl B and I crop it. So I only see the, the nail liquid polish shader. Good. First things first, um, the color. Um, just tint it a little bit into a reddish direction. Maybe like, uh, maybe like this. So, I mean, we have the reference here and actually you cannot really see what is really going on because there are so many different colors in there um, depending on how the light is um, yeah is coming into it so a lot of sprinkles a lot of glossiness and stuff but i think the base color must be something that is somehow like this like reddish or a little bit pink and now i will crank up specularity i will take down roughness to point let me think let me see 0.08 and the metallic has to be 0.5. So this is like our, our starting point. And we will also put clear coat onto it. So let's just do it uh, like this. So the next thing is very important. This whole uh, nail polish stuff and actually all these um, finishes also for cars, for example, they really come to life because of these little sprinkles that you can see all over the place. This is created with a normal map and what we will simulate right now with a Voronoi texture. So hit Shift A and S and type in Voronoi and you will have the Voron Voron Voronoi texture and then you connect this to a separate RGB. Then you recombine it, RGB, combine color, connect red to red, green to green, leave blue empty and type in one. All right, crank up the scale of the texture to 800. And if you now um, click Control Shift and onto combine color, you can see this looks like a normal map. And in fact, it is a normal map. And that is why we need now a normal map um, note. So type a normal map, connect this and reduce the strength to 0 0.05. All right, now you can place, now you can connect this to normal and you will see there is something happening that makes this look more like, like a car finish. All right. Um, let me check if I have not forgotten anything because it is important that we are very precise. Like in the latest of Fast and Furious, I think Fast and Furious 9, Vin Diesel said to his son, like something that is very important to be very precise in life. It can make all the difference. So to be precise in life, that's awesome. So be precise. All right, learning for today. So now we need a second BSDF, which is the glossy BSDF just paste it in um change the color to something that looks a little bit more um, yellowish mm, uh, yellowish greenish like this for example and then you take the roughness down to point one two yeah that's good and now we will also have to one uh, we will also want to have the normal connected to normal so it is the same 
stuff in here. So if you now want to blend these two together, you can simply hit Control Shift, right click and connect these two. And then you have a mixed shader node in there. And of course, we need now to determine which value goes into the factor in order to blend these two materials together. OK, the first thing for that is we need a noise texture. Switch from 3D to 2D. Type in a scale of 5.7. Uh, increase the detail to 4.8 and the distortion to 2.4. Um, have it selected and Control and T in order to open up the mapping for it. Um, change the texture coordinate to object. And now let's see what we got here. Yeah, we see there is already some of these interesting stripes going on. And we will now want to... Yeah, alter the direction a little bit so I go into the, the rotation and I type in a value of 26 minus 14 I guess name minus minus 24 and plus 12 minus 12 like this yeah that looks quite cool okay now we want to add in a color ramp do this we need this later to adjust the values Okay, this is only the first part of it because we want to have this glossiness also in this shader, uh, which is why we now want to insert a Voronoi texture again. Set the uh, leave the value on 3D and F1, but change the Euclidean to Chep G Chef. <laughs> then add in another color ramp for this one as well. And ah yeah, don't forget to crank up the value to 900, the scale of the of the of the texture all right if you have that we are very far right now so if you look what we have here we have another sprinkly sprinkly texture here and we have this interesting stripe texture here and now we need to combine these two guys together and this is of course very easily achieved with a mix rgb so connect the first to the second and the second to the first slot. Then you click on overlay or you change this to overlay and you increase the factor to one. If you now click on that, you should see that we have beautifully connected and blend these two values together. This looks really, really awesome. And this is the factor value that drives our two materials, like the mask for those two materials. And if you know, check the material, you see there is not so much to be seen right now. And that is because we have to adjust the color ramps values. Oh, and of course, one thing very important, you have to make sure that the glossy goes into the second um, slot of this mix shader. All right. So now let's try to adjust these values a little bit. I just want to increase the contrast on both. And there should be one point at which can see that these stripes blend into each other very beautifully. If that does not look too satisfying right now, it might be because we forgot to increase the roughness value to one on the noise texture. I guess that is one, one good solution for this. So now just keep trying until you find a value um, that looks promising. I think I found one. I think this looks pretty exciting right now. And of course, you can also use the location values in order to relocate the, the stripes, because that would also make a big difference, I guess. And now it starts to look like something. I also want to adjust the colors a little bit more, like having it a little bit more, a little bit darker. The first one is so the contrast between those two colors come across a little bit better okay i use this one right now i ended up um, finding one mistake that i made earlier the normal map here or 0.3 i don't know uh, a value that is too low so 0.5 would be very good and now you see the very beautiful sprinkly effect that is what we want in here okay so now we can move on all right good so we now want to mix in another glossy looking material and so we will copy our principal shader change the color to green greenish yellowish metallic to one specular to 0.5 as this roughness down to 0.07 and now mix in these two shaders again as to the factor of this mix shader 
we will simply copy this whole thing over to here. Adjust a few of these values. At first, we change this from uh, color to distance. Uh, we leave this on new Euclidean and we set the value to 600 for the scale. Relax the color ramp a little bit for now. And we change this to multiply. Um, we also want to exchange these two sockets. So in the noise texture, make this a little bit smaller, the value to 4.6. We decrease also a little bit the detail to 3.2 and we leave the distortion. So, okay, if we have that, um, let's check what we have here. And we should see snow. We should not see something like this. Just flip the color ramp. So we have uh, dots, yeah, white dots. That's okay. That is what we want. Okay, let's increase the value a little bit. I believe this serves nicely as a factor for our shader. Let's see if it works. Switch these two guys. It's a bit too subtle, this effect. Let's crank it up a little bit more and like this, yeah, it's better. And of course, we need to alternate. Ah, yeah, that's important. Wait a second, not so fast. Okay, we need to alternate the mapping for the noise texture, of course. So let's go in here. Let's see, I think. I had something like this, I believe. It's kind of cool, sometimes it helps if you change the color to something completely different, so you can see better what's going on. And Okay, cool. So now we have one last thing that we need to do, um, and that is adding more sprinkles, but this is not real, like realistic sprinkles, but it's more like I would like to add some emission points into the fluid because it helps to sell the idea of you know of glossiness and of nail polish stuff so let's add this in we need just another noise texture hooked up with a color ramp and the noise we will set very high 200 here you see already what's going on then we will put this down like the, the black handle to the right very far. So the only thing that is left is a few nice stars at the sky. Yeah, exactly. This is exactly what we need for this. Okay, and this thing will be combined with an emission shader. So we can mix these two shaders together. And this one has to be the factor for it. Switch these entries. And now we put in an emission, a yellowish, like this maybe. Put it up to 17. And here we go. It starts to look very sprinkly. Nice. It shouldn't be too crazy, so you're better off reducing these sprinkles a bit. But it's just to sell the idea, you know. Sometimes you need to trick a little bit in order to get what you want. Yeah, it's very cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. Make sure it has some color. All right. So I think this is the end result. I think we are done. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so I would say this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment if you like. <coughs> if you want to um, do the uh, light setup thing, then um, wait for the next video. We will do this as well. And until then, I wish you all the best. We see each other. Bye-bye.